Hey guys, welcome to an auto review right here on ToyWorldOrder.com with me, Deval, and my buddy Dave Draper. Konnichiwa. Look, look at the nameplate, it's still there. Yay. It's so pretty. It's so nice. Okay. You did a good job. Thank you. You, 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 you did it. But... Well, you deserved a nameplate. That's why I'm saying you did a good job. So right. you finally got one. That's yeah. That's wonderful. But again, we are back with an all-new review. Uh, Dave has been generous enough to uh, to bring over some more stuff, uh, including the... Uh, generous. I got a text saying, don't open that! We're reviewing it! Including the latest masterpiece figure from Japan for Transformers from Takara Tomi, none other than the Destron, Destron Laser Wave. Destron Laser Wave. Better known to well, all of us. Well, that was French. Right? Destron Laser Wave. Oh, oh, I don't better. want to do Japanese because I would be a racist. Better known to all of us. A shockwave. Uh, now, of course, this is the latest. He's my master favorite GoBot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's your favorite Transformer. I just wanted angry comments. <laughs> Uh, and of course, a while back, I took a look at Quake Wave, which was the third-party release. Um, I don't which, you, who... which you convinced me to buy because you said they would never do Masterpiece Shockwave. I did. Um, well, you you bought it, and then I bought one because I was like, this is amazing. I want this toy. And then Takara did a Masterpiece version of it. Yeah. But! They're just um, $100 toys. Who cares? Yeah, <laughs> who cares? Uh, but yeah, the the box for this, of course, if you bought masterpiece figures in the past, it's very familiar. Um, the the look and the overall feel of it's very much uh, in line with what they've done for masterpiece figures in the past. Uh, a lot of Japanese writing and stuff yeah, on there. Um, the figure in both robot mode and vehicle in uh, weapon mode. Here I wanted to say vehicle, but weapon mode. Um, and then the back here, you get an idea of the figure, the scale, uh, and all sorts of different uh, items he comes with there. That the stand and whatnot. So. With that out of the way, let's uh, let's bust him up. Let's take a look at the robot mode, and then we're going to transform him into gun mode. Uh, we're going to try, and uh, let's take a look, and uh, we'll we'll tell you what you think. We'll even give you a, um, what does Puppet call the thing that we can't use because Pixel Dan's got it copyrighted? Oh, uh, contra contrasting contra contrasting time contrasting time. So we'll uh, we'll we'll take a look at this masterpiece and the Quake Wave. So let's take a look at it up close and personal. All right, I changed. Uh, we, we changed our minds. Uh, instead of showing you from robot to gun, we will show you from gun to robot. That's because Jason's uh, not good with the GoBots like me. <laughs> well, and this is how you receive He's him. jelly. Jelly in my GoBot not skills. Jelly. One thing I did want to point out in gun mode was uh, with the squeeze of the trigger. Keep it in frame, Jason. It's almost a Star Trek fight theme. It almost. All right, here. All right, yeah. We'll move the uh, the figure. See, the, the backpack does become a little stand that he can just sit on, but yeah. it's pretty easy to transform him. Well, yeah. It's a little more difficult if you're doing it right. R right. Hmm. But but we'll we'll muddle through somehow. <laughs> Basically, um, I guess we should be explaining steps. You, yeah, probably. You, you pop open the muzzle, and then it has this big hinged arm that swings swings over, and then you pop across the arm. It's it's basically the G1 transformation. Yes. Um, effectively. Yes. Um, which is why I was able to kind of do it playing around with it earlier. Um, the only thing I have a problem with is the head. I'll, I'll do the... And I'll, I'll form the head. I got it. I got I'll, it this time. Yeah, you. I'll form the head. Sorry, I had to yeah. squeeze out real quick. Uh, the big difference is uh, instead of this back part of the gun being his backpack, it's actually part of his thighs. Yes. This was much easier when I did it before. Um, yeah, you pop them apart. Pop the legs apart. Yeah. See, my problem this time around is I'm like, gotta keep it in frame, Dave. Yeah, you gotta keep it so the people can see it right there. I know, but then if I need to like look at something, it's like <laughs> this is why we like reversed our attitude the second time. Yes. Or the first time. One of the times. One of the times. A, a time was involved. Okay, you, you flip up. He's got the little uh, yeah. The he's little got the little sight. sight. You, you you flip that and pop that up on the back. Yep. All right. Now these. Here you go. There we go. Now we're cooking with yeah, energon. Yeah. Like I said, these become the thighs. Oh, I suppose I should. All right. The oh, legs and then there's kinda... a little. What tripped us up was this little piece inside the 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 leg, which actually like becomes a foot cover, and then the the feet, spin around, and these little like little sock pieces. Form the upper part of the ankle. Yeah. Ah, you're not seeing any of this. Whatever. <laughs> Trust us. It's 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 a transmorphotron. It's, oh, and then there's there's a little tab you got to catch. 
like that. So it snaps into place there. Snaps into place. You turn this kind of sideways. It also snaps out of place if you're... Again, I would be doing this much more smoothly if I like didn't have to hold it at arm's length. Well... Well... I'm just saying. And... Snap that into place, and then these... The legs swivel the around. Legs, yeah, the legs swivel around right at the top. Um, now there is there is one thing to note before Dave does the head here. I already did the head. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, I did the there's, head. There's one thing to note here. Oh, that, your stupid obsession with the trigger. On, on the back, well, the trigger, the trigger here and the chest there slides up and then this the little, little door, trigger garage. door slides down there. Just that easy. To cover it up. But the, uh, the back, in order to put the backpack on. Yeah, I got them kind of uh, up. I got them kind of up. You have to push these The parts, side pieces of yeah. the muzzle. And then this, this swings up like so. And then you take your backpack here. And you basically slide. You got it reversed. I do have it reversed. You slide it. There's an opening right there between the uh, the plastic glass piece there. One of the, the yeah. We should really stop and make sure that they get every <laughs> every little piece of detail of this transformation because Transformers <laughs> videos are very rare on YouTube. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah you're not gonna few. be able to find another the, uh, video of how to transform this guy anywhere. So the, pay pay very close attention the, to what we're doing. The piece just flips around there. And then you're able to lock it into place on his back, and sure. he has a backpack. Yeah, just which like is that. actually his the, the back of the gun in the original. Yeah, which is the back of the gun. Toy. Yeah, the original toy. But As I uh, said. Uh, it's like like Dave said, it's uh, it's a pretty simple transformation. Uh, it's it's very much like aside from the bit with the thighs in the back of the gun, um, it's very much like the vintage uh, his vintage counterpart. Yeah, it's very one counterpart. Very reminiscent of that. So. Um, it's it's an nice overall transformation. Uh, it's it's a little simpler, but like Dave said, the catch up on the legs is kind of kind of funky. But uh, it, was, that, it was funkier going from robot to gun than going from gun to robot. Yes, I, it was I, it was a little more intuitive the other way around. Yes, I agree. So pretty cool overall. And there you go, guys. There's a look at uh, at masterpiece uh, laser. Uh, what is it? Destron laser? Destron wave? laser wave. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's it's a cool toy. Yeah, yeah. Um, were you wearing a hat a minute ago? I was wearing a hat the whole time. Weird. Oh, very odd. Yeah, yeah. Special thanks to Dave Draper for bringing this by for us. To I'm a, a hero. Yay! Yay. Yay. Um, a great masterpiece toy. Um, I'm still. Uh... My my one. Well, weren't we gonna break oh, out yeah, the? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Talk about it from every back. I, I will say, if I have a, if I have a criticism of this, it's that the plastic feels very very cheap, um, especially for like a masterpiece toy. I always thought they were a little more, you know, die cast and the, and the good stuff. Um, where he feels very sort of. Uh, Cheap, very, very uh, kind of, uh, you know, it's one of those things like when you have plastic in your hand, you kind of know what, what's what's kind of nicer and what, I mean, you know, it's not going to be brittle down the road too bad. It's, it's a little softer. But, uh, I mean, that would be my one criticism. He, he feels more like a mass release toy. See, like this. Ah. This is a, a much, I feel a much kind of nicer quality plastic, don't you? I agree. The third party uh, <coughs> Quake Wave is uh, for. Yes, all it's, now it's, it's contrastment time. Now it's contrastment time. For all it's, um, like the Masterpiece figure overall is a closer look to the, the G1, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, and, and, that, yeah, and that, that's, that's actually something that uh, um, our friend Slick McFavor pointed out, is there's been some criticism of the size of the, of the figure, but if you go back and look at the animated series, he fits in with the other, he was a little bit smaller. Yeah, he was. Um, so he, he's, he's definitely more of an animated style character. Yes. And I assume that's what the lighter color is about. Yeah, and... the the lighter purple, whereas Quick Wave, of course, is a darker purple. Yeah. But yeah, he's he's he feels a much more sturdier figure. Quick Wave does, uh, just mostly because he's he's like metal. Yeah, he's the, the diecast the parts. The plastic and... is just it. It's hard to explain if you don't have it in your hand, but the plastic does have a different, more uh, solid feel to it. Yes. Um, but overall, I think I think still I think Quick Wave was my favorite. Um, I think I'm glad that I own a Quake Wave. I think it's still a great transformer. He fits in nicely with my masterpiece stuff. He's pretty much the same scale as the official masterpiece. He's just a little hair taller. He's a little bigger. Um, of course, the wiring is is different. Uh, yeah, this is like an actual wire, isn't it? Yeah, because it. Uh, yeah, it well, actually I works. I don't, well, I don't think it powers anything okay. there, but uh, it is an actual wire. But uh, I suppose this little springy thing. Yeah, but the the masterpiece figure is actually is more affordable these days, I believe, because Quake Wave has long been out of production. I don't know if they still sell him. I have no um, idea. It's been a couple of years since we looked at Quake Wave, even. He's, so he's he's gone through cycles of being very expensive and then being put back into production and being very expensive again. Yeah, from so, what I understand. 
But, uh, but overall, if you're looking for something affordable, fun, that fits in with your Masterpiece collection, you don't feel like dishing out a ton of money for Quake Wave. Uh, Masterpiece Shockwave runs... About 120 bucks, I believe, yeah. at Big Bad Toy Store. Sorry. I believe that. I mean, I, it's been a little while since I actually bought him, so I would say between 120 and 160 Sorry, guys, that I'm. Um, yeah, it's not a bad not, a, not not a whole. It's not a terrible amount yeah. of money. It's it's affordable. So, uh, but there you go, guys. Again, thanks to Dave Draper for bringing it by for us taking a look at it. Uh, we'll be back real soon with an all new review. So make sure you stay tuned right here to YouTube.com/slash Toy World Order. Hit subscribe, mash the like button, or pew pew the, the like pew, button. Pew, pew. Yeah, pew pew the like button. Uh, check out all we have there to offer and so much more. Check out ToyWorldOrder.com for the podcast, David of All's Toys and Collectibles, as well as Married to the Collection, and so much more. A lot of surprises coming from Toy World Order real soon, so make sure you keep tuned there and here to find out them all. So, But until next time... Keep playing with your toys. Take care, guys. We'll see you again. Oh, yeah? 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 I have... Oh, no. I have batteries in mind. If I could turn them on. Ah. Oh, there it goes. Ha-ha! <laughs> Pachu pachu, pachu pachu, pachu. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, I'm gonna be like he's he's two gun. He's two gunning me. That just yeah. sounds dirty. That's yeah. that look. It sounds and looks dirty. All right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Two yeah. gun chopper. Pachu pachu. Bye guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs>